Hello everyone, myself Ramesh Bhatlesh. I am the managing partner at Fidji and center head Fidji Noida and Greater Noida Centers. So I believe all students are aware with the JE Main exam. So JE Main exam 2024 is going to be held from the 24th of Jan till the 1st of February, that is session 1. And the session 2 starts from 1st of April till the 15th of April, that is session 2. Now the JE Main exam is also the exam which is qualifying exam for JE Advanced. So the pattern of JE Main is of paper 1. It is a 3 hour paper comprising of questions from physics, chemistry and mathematics of 11th and 12th board CBSE. So most of the questions are belonging to the CBSE board. So students must be prepared with their NCRT textbooks as well as you know understand the various types of questions which are going to be asked. The JE Main exam has 30 questions each from physics, chemistry and mathematics out of which 25 have to be attempted in each subject that is total of 75 questions to be attempted in 3 hours. The total marks of this exam is 300 and there is negative marking of minus 1 and students who are answering the questions correctly will get 4 marks and if they do not answer and leave the question there is 0 marks. So that means the students must attempt 75 questions in 3 hours and to ensure students qualify for JE Advanced, their percentile must exceed 90 percentile for qualifying for JE Advanced. However, for qualifying in the top NITs and the circled branch, it is recommended that students secure more than 180 plus marks out of 300 for a decent rank. So for JE Main, it's very important that students adopt the right time management. So when you are answering the 3R paper, it is recommended that you take the paper in two rounds. In the first round, dedicate 40 minutes each to the th three subjects, physics, chemistry and mathematics, trying to attempt 10 questions from, the each, from each subject. Now, you must ensure that you are attempting all the easy and moderate level of questions. And in case you find a difficult question, you can leave it for review. So here I'll suggest that students attempt all the easy and moderate level questions each from physics, chemistry and mathematics. As I have informed you earlier that most of the questions are board oriented, so students are advised to go through the NCRT textbooks thoroughly as well as you know solve all the lengthy and moderate level questions in the second round. Like in the first round attempt 10 questions from each subject, so 30 questions out of which you know once you have attempted the first round you'll have a clear idea which is an easier subject so in the second round try to attempt five questions from each in physics chemistry and mathematics and uh, you can at least score uh, i'll say roughly 180 marks by attempting 45 questions in these three hours if you have a good speed of more than three or you can say two to three minutes then you can you can also cross 200 marks and for students who have a good speed Trying to score every, you can say every question in less than two minutes, you can fetch even more than 250 plus marks. So as you are aware that JE Main comprises of physics, chemistry and mathematics of 11th and 12th class syllabi, students are recommended to avoid selective study. The most important chapters in class 11 which students must study, subject wise I'm going to tell you. So in physics, starting from physics, Mechanics chapters like kinematics, laws of motion, rotation, gravitation, moving to you know class 12. When you move to class 12, the chapters like electrostatics, electromagnetics, electromagnetic induction, and even chapters of 11th like uh, oscillation and waves. In 12th, you have optics and waves. These are the most important chapters. Apart from this, modern physics and experimental skills are going to fetch you very good marks if you have prepared all these chapters clearly. And even if you have gone through the NCRT and uh, exemplar of uh, class 11, 12th CBSE board, they are going to fetch you some good marks. Coming to mathematics. Mathematics is a very important subject as far as the JE main is considered and it's sometimes lengthy and tricky as well. So students are advised to ensure they are solving all the easy and moderate level questions from the high scoring chapters. So some of the high scoring chapters in mathematics could be starting from trigonometry, then you have chapters from progression series, you have statistics, coming to algebra, you have uh, three dimension geometry, vectors, and then of course calculus, one of the most favorites of all, you have chapters like limits and continuity, application of derivatives, and if you've gone through the properties of definite integral, they're going to fetch you some easy marks. Matrices and determinants are not to be left because there is some good number of questions from these two chapters as well. 
and uh, coordinate geometry, circles and straight lines do not fail to cover them because you get some direct questions of tangents and normals and as well as you know some area based questions from calculus, uh, so, so, so sorry from straight lines and circles. Coming to chemistry, so in chemistry students are advised this time that since you are aware that there is being truncation of syllabi in the inorganic section, so 40% questions will be from physical and 40% from organic. You can expect 20% questions from inorganic. Now what are the important chapters and some of the high scoring chapters in physical chemistry? Ionic equilibrium is one of the most important chapters, thermochemistry. Apart from this you can expect questions from uh, I will say atomic structure, mole concept and then moving on to organic carbonyl compounds, amino acids, amines, aldehyde ketones and all these questions must be done thoroughly. All the named reactions must be done from NCR textbooks. From inorganic chemistry please go to the coordination compounds and titration based experiments because a lot of lab based questions are also asked in chemistry section. So this is how if you have covered all the high scoring chapters and chapters which have more weightage you are going to really do well in JE main exam. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in depth interviews and explainers. Follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.